So I've been using Evoto for about two years now, and it's been a tremendous time and money saver for my business. Before Evoto, I was paying a retoucher about $20 to $30 per image for client work, even if it was something that I wasn't particularly fond of. And even with that, it would take somewhere between two days to a week for me to be able to get the images back. Now, the alternative to that is for me to do the retouching myself, which personally, I feel like my time is better spent shooting sessions or acquiring new clients so that I can generate money for my business. So outsourcing was the best option for me. So again, switching over to Evoto was a huge money saver for me because now I'm only spending seven cents per image versus the 20 to $30 per image that I was spending before with the retoucher. But even with all these conveniences, there's still some pretty major limitations in my opinion. So let's dive into a couple of the major issues that I see with Evoto that personally, I think that they should fix these things before they add any additional features. Now the main draw to Evoto was its ability to do AI skin retouching, or at least that's how it was initially positioned to me when I first heard about it. Now, although it does a fantastic job, it still doesn't have the ability to retouch skin in all situations. The first being if you're shooting with gels. The moment you introduce any gel or RGB light into your photograph, the software just completely fails when it comes to skin retouching. Now, I'm pretty sure this is because the software is pre-programmed to determine which tones are considered to be skin tones. But to me, I think that that's a major fail. As someone who does a lot of work with creative lighting, this is a major limitation for me because now, since the software can't process those images, I then have to send those images off to a retoucher to do them, which costs me more money, or I have to spend the time to do it myself. So let's dig into the software so I can show you some examples. So if you're not familiar with Evoto, we can take a look at this first image from my maternity session. You can see that there's no color introduced into the scene. It's just a standard one light setup here in my model. Now, if you're not familiar with Evoto, you can see here on the left hand side that there's a menu of uh, presets that they've already done for you. So just to make the process go a little bit quicker, I'm just gonna select from one of those. We're gonna click high end retouch. But before we do that, let's actually dive in. Let's take a look at the skin and things that we have going on with our model. So you can see there's a little bit of texture in the skin. These little uh, blemishes, imperfections that we wanna get rid of. Here you can see a little bit of skin discoloration, even down through the belly and some of these areas that are, are a little bit in shadow. So if we come over here to the preset and we click on high end, you can see that it immediately goes in and it does a lot of cleanup for you right out of the gate. So this is our before and this is our after just with one click. Same thing in here with the skin tones, you see it cleans that up quite a bit. And even down here, as we start to get into the uh, belly area, there's a little, you know, not much going on here in the shadow area, which we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But if we come over here to the right side of the screen here at our menu, we can turn up the body blemishes. Let's turn that all the way up. Um, let's go down into the skin retouching section. Now, personally, when I'm doing this, I like to use the matte finish on the skin to take away some of that glare. So if you look just in this area here, you can see this is with the matte on, this is with the matte off. It's a little subtle change, but it takes away that uh, highlight and reflection, and it adds a little bit of texture to the skin. That's just my personal preference. But again, if we look at before and after, we've done some major cleanup, basically with one click. Now, as we move down a little bit further, you can see that it adds um, this preset here that looks for a skin tone and then it adds it to the overall image. So if we take that off, you can see it applied a base skin tone across the entire image. That way, the skin tones throughout the image are more uniform. So if we take that off for a second, you see it goes away. We add it back. And they had it pulled down here roughly about 20, 20%. So before and after. 
And there are so many more additional things that you can do to the image, like body reshaping, getting rid of the stray hairs. If we turn this all the way up, you can see how it got rid of all of those stray hairs that are in the scene. But all in all, you can see that Evoto does a really good job with retouching skin and just cleaning up your images overall really quickly. And for six or seven cents an image, you can't beat that. But again, my problem is when you start to introduce any color into the scene, that's when the software starts to fall apart. So if we look here at the same session, this is my same model, but we went in and we shot with the Nanlite Pavo tube. So there's one on each side, as you can see here. And even if we go in and we utilize that same preset, the high end, if we click that, you can see that it doesn't do anything to the image. Anytime there's color introduced into the scene, it doesn't do anything. If we scroll up, you can see that the freckles and acne is completely turned up and the software didn't do anything. What you're seeing right now is actually a filter that they put over the top. So if we reset that and then come back in, you see that it effectively didn't do anything except add that base layer of skin tone over the top. If we take that off, we turn it on and off, you can see that there's no change in the image other than neck wrinkles, but absolutely nothing as it pertains to skin. Now again, this is a major, major issue for someone like me who does a lot of creative lighting with the work. Now here's that image done by Evoto, as we can see like nothing happened here. And here's that image after I went in and did the retouches myself. Now, if we take a quick look at another session, we can zoom in. You can see that there's texture in the skin there, some little lines and things of that nature. Skin discoloration around the belly and the thighs. And if we apply that same preset, Again, there wasn't really much done. Let's take off this base layer. And you can see here with the before and after, there's nothing being done about the skin tones in this part of the image. But at the top of the image where there's mostly white light, you can see that it made some improvements there. This, I would like to see this treated a little bit different. And maybe we can go in with our heel tool and work on that. Let's kind of include this area. Nope. Nope. So we'll get rid of that. Ultimately, that's something that I would just end up having to do in Photoshop. And if we go in and be sure that the skin blemishes uh, skin blemish removal is turned up. You can see those areas are still there. All of this discoloration is still there. Now to me, a potential fix to this problem would be to include an eyedropper tool that gives us the users the ability to select which areas of the image are considered to be skin tone and then let us adjust it from there. This is similar to what the process is like when you're using a software like Portraiture, which was a popular plugin for Photoshop. And since Evoto has done such an amazing job being able to determine which part of the image is a person versus something like a lamp or a couch or something like that, the tones that were selected with the eyedropper will only affect the person in the scene and not the other elements of the scene. Now the second issue that I have with Evoto is also related to the skin, but this time it's more specifically targeted to areas that are in shadow. Now we saw that a little bit here in this image around the thigh area and the under part of the belly, but if we take a look at another image, this is black and white. You can see I have this highlight going across my model's face. If we zoom in, we can see that there's a little bit of texture here on the skin, a couple little, little bumps. Um, there's some unevenness in color and things here. And again, if we apply that high-end retouch that we did on our first image, and let's remove this filter that they apply. 
you can see that it doesn't do anything to this area here where we had those skin blemishes. And even if we go back and re reset this image, reset it back to the beginning and we only move the freckle and acne slider, it doesn't do anything to that particular area of the image. Same thing here, if you can see, just in this little area here, there's some stuff over here. The software just doesn't recognize these as being freckles or acne, so it doesn't do anything to it. And if we take a look at one more image here, you can see I shot this to just have like a little kiss of light, right? And we have some skin blemishes, uh, more so like discoloration there, there's some blemishes there. And then even here at the top of the breast line, there are some, some little stretch marks and stuff there. And as we, if we pull the slider here for freckles and acne, it does a little something. It actually takes away some of um, the makeup that we added. So if I pull that back just a hair, I'd have to add that back in uh, final retouch anyway. So I'm not really worried about it. But then if we come down here to the body blemish and we turn that all the way up, it doesn't treat these areas at all. Even the little blemishes like these, even if it didn't take away the stretch marks, which of course we want, we wanted to take away that as well, but it didn't even target uh, the skin discoloration that's going on here in the image either. So just looking back really quickly, Evoto didn't do anything when it came to cleaning up the skin here. So this is the Evoto version, as you can see before and after, nothing happens. And then here's an example of the image after I did my final retouch. Again, this issue could potentially be fixed simply by having an eyedropper tool to be able to select the areas that we wanna to deem to be skin tone or skin. Or maybe there's some sort of option where we can have a lasso style tool to select the areas that we want to be able to affect in the overall image. Now, for some reason, I'm doing something wrong here in the software that's not getting me the result that I want. Definitely chime in in the comments and let me know. But also, if you're having that same issue, then chime in in the comments and let me know that too. But even with these limitations, to me, Evoto is still the best editing software around, whether it be standalone software or even plugin that I've seen since I've been a photographer. And if you haven't had the pleasure of using the software yet, I've included a link down below where you can go and sign up for some free edits. And lastly, if you haven't already, I invite you to join my free Facebook community. I've included a link down below where you can sign up absolutely free and come in a community of amazing photographers who are there to help you learn and grow as a photographer, whether that be business tips, lighting tips. We have monthly competitions for you to win some amazing prizes from some amazing vendors. So I hope to see you there and I'll catch you all in the next video.